It's week 15 of the NFL, and we'll get a look here at wideout A.J. Brown. He's one of the league's best, currently third in the NFL in receiving yards. It's the Eagles and the Steelers, and it's all up next on EA Sports. Thank you to Trey Mosley for the introduction. We are indeed excited to welcome you to another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. The final four weeks of the NFL regular season is upon us. Welcome to the home stretch. Welcome to the booth, Mike Tirico with Greg Olson. Partner, it's week 15. Just feels like a horse race. We're at the top of the stretch. Now it's the sprint for home. And up until this point, Mike, every team's goal is, can we be in the conversation for the playoffs in this final four-week stretch? Well, here we are. And if you've done that, well, man, there is nothing more exciting than playing NFL football at the end of the regular season when you're in playoff contention. But for those who aren't, this is where you have an opportunity as a player to extend your career, get invited back to training camp next season. A lot of teams' years are made at the end of the year, and a lot of individual players' careers are made down the stretch here in these final couple weeks. The Steeler offense ready to take the field for the first time. They're led by their quarterback out of Ohio State. First-round pick, Justin Fields. Last week, when you go back and watch and study this tape, Mike, the problem is at the quarterback position, you need to be a difference maker. Last week, they were trying to overcome his poor performance, and you're just not going to be able to do that week in and week out at this level. Your quarterback has to be a driving force. He has to be a productive player within your system, and when you turn the ball over the way he did last week and not really lead to any points or any real sustained success on offense, that is a hard combination if you expect to win. So they're going to need more production. They're going to need more touchdowns. And they're going to need less turnovers. It's asking a lot. It's a big change from last week. But without it, I don't know if they can expect the results to ever change. Fields now to throw on first down. That's caught by the tight end, Darnell Washington. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Now a second down throw for Fields. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He'll come up to third and three. Fields operating out of the pistol. He's got fire move open on the left side. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Eagles let out by their quarterback. And he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him, can make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. We have the luxury each week, Mike, of sitting down with these players and really getting a behind-the-scenes look at what makes them so good and what makes them tick. And, man, wouldn't it be nice to be able to bring the fan kind of behind the curtain and let them see for themselves what we see firsthand? And, Man, it would only take a couple minutes for you to realize just what kind of leader this guy is. You would never know he threw three touchdowns last week. All he wanted to talk about was the costly interception and the couple plays he left out there. That's why they rally around him. The better he plays, the better the team plays. They need more consistent performances from him to get the rest of this team to do their part. That Jalen Hurts on second down. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. They might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. On the ground, here is the rookie out of Clemson. And he's going to have an Eagles first down. We're able to get the third down conversion. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. A first down throw for Hurts. 
That's complete to his big tight end. Dallas got it. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain. And in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. On the zone read, it's a give to Shipley. And he will keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice gain of five. Now we'll get a pause here. An injured player, and it's A.J. Brown who was hurt on that last play. The training staff going to look, and will step out for a moment. So they come to the line for first down and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That's taken in right side by Goddard. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Hurts going to hand this one to Shipley. And the defense, good job sticking to their rules. They didn't take their eyes off the running back, who gains nothing. Here's a third down and four. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. Short pass taken in by the tight end. It's a gain of 12 there. Good for an Eagles first down. They'll run with Shipley. And he's going to struggle to get back to the line. Maybe a yard. Patrick Queen, the linebacker. They're on the tackle. Here's a second and nine. Hurts. He's got the 2021 Heisman win. That's Devontae Smith. Now they are in business inside the 15 yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. But think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run. But the offense is kind of saying, OK, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. And that should be enough. He works his way forward to pick up a first down. Play action. Here's Hurts. That one. Take it in. Touchdown, Eagles. And how about that? His first career catch also becomes his first career NFL touchdown. It seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal down here near the goal line. And they had this one worked up all week. Simple pitch and catch, and it works to perfection. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Here comes a return from the three. Get across the 20, mark them at the 22-yard line. Steelers offense and running back Najee Harris getting set to take over once more. And as we take a look at league leaders and receiving touchdowns by the running backs, he's right up there among the best in the league. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. They'll start this on the ground, and it's Harris. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. If he gets a yard out of that one, it's second down. From the shotgun, it's Fields. He'll get that complete. It's George Pickens. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. So, from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. A pass 
taken in by Harris. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing. Big first down pickup there by Roman Wilson. And remember the last time we saw him play in a live game, Mike? It was that Rose Bowl. He had a great, great year for the national champions. Michigan Wolverines led him in catches, yards, receiving touchdowns. And this is a guy that not only can get downfield and make big plays, but even on underneath throws, he is very good with the ball in his hands after the catch. He'll give it to Harris again. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. So, they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. 7-0 is our score. And we're back in Philly in a moment. The backfield empty here for third and two. Now Fields. He's got his man. It's Pickens. And it looks like he's going to have a first down. Nothing fancy there. Short completion, but it yields a fresh set of downs. Give up the middle to Harris. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, his offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. He'll try the right side now with Harris. Trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but he's shoved out of bounds and probably loses a yard. They've moved the ball well here, but now face third and two. Fields to throw. And that is incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. On the return, here is Anias Smith. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. Here's first and 10. On the handoff, it's Shiplin. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. The trend around the league, Mike, is that we've seen that running back has really turned into a young man's game. And there's something to be said for having some fresh legs, fresh out of college. They love the dynamic ability this guy brings to their rushing attack, and it's clear why. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. Man in motion is Brown. Try the jet sweep, heading right. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Third down, three to go. They'll give it here to Shipley. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. And it sets up fourth down. Here comes the Eagles punt team. Calvin Austin, deep for the Steelers. 
And a pretty good punt there. A fair catch taken right around the 11-yard line. This drive begins with a run by Harris. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. We'll try again. It's second and ten. To throw is Fields. Oh, after the catch, he's hit. And the ball is out. That'll be picked up by the Eagles. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And his numbers this season, eye-popping in a lot of categories. Let's just show you one. He is the NFL leader in rushing touchdowns by a quarterback. And he's going to get stopped in the backfield. He'll take him down at the three-yard line. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push. The pass rush gets home, and he goes down. This has been a tough sequence right out of the jump. You work all week on your opening script, and they're usually the plays that you feel the best about to try to establish some sort of early rhythm. But he's got his man, middle of the end zone. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Touchdown, number seven for him on the year. That is a dream scenario. The offense handed the ball first and goal. And Greg, they take it to the end zone for six. They're not going to have many easier drives than that, Mike. I mean, to get the ball, not only in a short field, but in a goal-to-go situation, you don't get a lot of those chances. You have to cash them in and... That's exactly what they were able to do. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. It's a return. Here comes Calvin Austin. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. They trail now 14 to 3, so an 11 point deficit as they start things out with first and 10. He is met and dropped. Good defense, loss of a couple on that play. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. That's complete to Watkins. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. To throw is field. Got a man over the middle. It's Pickens. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. First and 10. Back to throw is Fields. A throw left side taken in by Wilson. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Two minutes remain here in this first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia right after this. On first and ten, Fields. Quick slant into the hands of Wilson. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. 
Here's Fields. That's in the end zone and intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts getting set for their next possession, and he's putting together a remarkable season currently, leading the NFL in passing yards as we play. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys first and ten in the red zone. You know, Mike, we're seeing both these offenses come out here and play a little fast and loose in the passing game. The last two throws for each team, both resulting in an interception. Now, don't get me wrong. Neither of these secondaries is going to complain. They'll happily feast on those type of throws the rest of the game. But I get a sense on these next two drives, come out here, establish the run, dose the ground and pound. Let's settle things down offensively and regroup for the rest of this game. A first down throw for Fields. Taking off. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Fields. It is brought in in the end zone. Roman Wilson. Touchdown Steelers. So the turnover turns into a quick touchdown, and Greg, that's exactly how you want your offense to take care of business. Anytime your defense can create those sudden change situations, Mike, absolutely, you have to take advantage of it. One second, you're sitting on the bench going over your next drive. All of a sudden, after that turnover, you've got to be able to get out on the field and go take advantage of the short field and results in a nice touchdown. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. They'll come up here first and 10. The Eagles offense and their running back set to go once more. Little short pass here caught by his tight end. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. And this is why most teams, Mike, decide to take the ball first after the halftime break because they want to be able to control this middle four. At the end of the first half, you can use your timeout. You can use some strategy to steal an extra possession. If they're able now to go down and come away with points, they'll have a chance to double it up again right after the halftime break. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Hurts again. That's to the right side, and incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. Third down coming up. And I believe the referee was buzzed by the replay Previous officials under indicating let's get a closer look at this. They trigger this automatically in the last two minutes of the half. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. Now it's going to be third down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the official upstairs and the replay center in New York get the second look. And indeed, this call will be overturned. No 
On third down, it's Hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. They'll try to sneak it here. And he's going to have the Eagles first down as they find a way to keep the chains moving on fourth down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. Here's Hurts. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him and will bring up third down. Now it's Hurts. He'll let this go deep for the end zone. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw. But think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. So we've reached halftime here in South Philly, and the Eagles are on top as we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. More from you and Greg in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll get started over at the Superdome in New Orleans, where it was our visitors who were able to walk away with the road victory. Brian Robinson, two touchdown runs to lead the way. From there, let's get over to Arizona and check on the Cardinals at home in Glendale. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting New England Patriots. Kyler Murray has thrown a touchdown pass. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And they couldn't get the job done as they fall to the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson, excellent in the W as his guys get victory number 12 on the year. The Eagles were led in the first half by their dynamic quarterback, Jalen Hurts. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Both these okay, teams coach, their thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay half. dividends here. And for the call, let's like get it back out to Mike Tirico who and wins Greg this one. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now, they're trying to keep it going. And he'll be brought down up around the 38-yard line. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. You stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. Here's second and nine. Off the play fake. Hurts. Ah, oh, the pressure, too much, and he goes down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. 
Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. A run. Here's Harris. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. I think what stands out here, Mike, is there's a lot of guys in the league with the ball in their hands. They have great straight line speed. But it's the footwork. It's the ability to make you miss. That's what stands out about this guy. And you can see here on the big game. And a strong first down run. A pickup of Knox. Setting up second and short. Fields now. A toss, left side, caught by his running back. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. A give, and here comes Harris. And he will get into the end zone. Najee Harris. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Boswell adds the extra point, and the Steelers move out to a three-point edge, 17-14. to 14. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. This drive kicks off with first and ten. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better feel for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. Set to go now on first and ten. A carry here for Shipley. And a good run there. Gonna get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Hurts. Throw to the sideline. Well done. Good job with the feet. Stays in bounds. It looks like, and yes, they do have the first down. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Man in motion is Smith. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. Down the sideline, to the 20. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. And this is just more of the same, picking up exactly where he left off in the first half. And these numbers, Mike, as you see him, they just pop out at you. I mean, he has been the driving force of this offense from the very start. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Once again, they'll give it to Shipley. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11. Now Hurts. 
Quick throw, out wide, it's caught. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. He'll try and get, and he will score. Jalen Hurts, touchdown Eagles. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him. And in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. From the six, here comes a return. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. On the ground, this is Harris. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Fields. He'll take a shot, looking for Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. He's going to dial up another deep ball. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. So the Steelers ready to kick this one sky. And he'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt. This returnable from inside his own 40. And it's a good solid return as he takes it back up near midfield. The home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. Second and 11. Another carry here for Shipley. He'll work this ahead for two, maybe three. Joey Porter Jr. that time up to make the play. On third down, here's Hurts. And that is incomplete. He was looking for A.J. Brown that time. And it's going to be fourth down. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Steelers' offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They trail by four. Touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. And he'll work his way forward to about the 21. So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll stick to the ground. 
And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Big play coming up. This is third down. Now, Fields. He'll air it out. Deep for Wilson. And this one is hauled in. What a grab. And he will take this one in. 79 yards. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go. And that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike. And now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And the Steelers extend the advantage to a field goal. It's 24 to 21. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. And he works his way through an opening up past the 35. Nice run for eight on that one. He'll come to the line now on second and two. Now, Hurts. That's to the right side. Caught by Donald. And he gets run out of bounds. A short pickup, but it's good enough for a first down. They'll run. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. They'll run here. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. Hurts going to hand this one to Shipley. Trailing late. They've got to go here. It's fourth down. They'll go with the sneak. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as he pushes forward for a couple on fourth and inches. On the ground, this is Shipley. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. They put Campbell in motion. On second down, Hurts. That's to the left side and taken in by Smith. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Here's Shipley. Not much happening there. Just a short game. Here's a second and nine. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. He is in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. This is a great decision by the quarterback. You can see, Mike, he's trying to push this ball downfield and pick up a big completion in the air, but with the amount of depth the defense was getting, his best option was the check down, the underneath short throw, and just say, hey, pick up this rest of this game with your legs after the catch. And fortunately for this quarterback, this short throw is going to go down in the box score as a touchdown. On is Elliott to add the extra point. 
He's got it. And the Eagles have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Austin now to return this. The Steelers offense and quarterback Justin Fields make their way back out. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. They'll start this on the ground, and it's Harris. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Fields now on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Fields to throw. He'll try to run for it. He'll get a dozen out of that one, scrambling his way to a first down. Here's Harris. And a short pickup there to about the 36. Second down and eight. Fields. Got a man downfield. It's Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. On first and ten, Fields. That is caught. What a throw. Pat Fryer move. Touchdown, Steelers. All week, we're going to see this play be run over and over as a highlight of the quarterback and the receiver. But, Mike, the part that people don't give enough credit to, in order to get a downfield shot, you have to have time. And what a great job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket. Let those deeper routes develop, be on time and accurate with the ball. And that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week. Let's give the big guys up front some credit. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Here's Smith to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Here comes the Philly offense now as they be here. Beginning with first and ten. That one complete to Brown. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Line. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They come to the line needing six yards for a first down. Man in motion is Smith. They'll drop to throw. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. He's got his man. It's Smith. And they're going to have this all the way down inside the 30-yard line. 
some teams just have a stronger appetite for being willing to go for fourth down tries, even on their side of the field, Mike, and we're seeing it so much more often. The days of just punting the ball back and forth and saying, hey, we're going to play good defense. Remember, the better your defense, that doesn't mean you should punt. The better your defense, the more chances you should take on offense. Oh, and a pressure there. He can't get a throw away, and he's taken down. A loss of five brings up second and 15. To throw on second down is Hurts. Taking off. And he will not be quite able to stretch the ball out. Then the mark him down after that huge run all the way to the one. What I like the most here is just the decision that when he wants to be a runner, he commits to being a runner. And he's able to weave his way downfield, pick up the first down, sets up first and goal. Here is first and goal. They'll run the sneak. And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. And that touchdown, number 15 for him on the ground. He has tied the record. Most rushing touchdowns by a quarterback in a single season. That one off the left upright, but it bounds in. High degree of difficulty, but the joint gets a point. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Austin now to return this. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. They'll come up for first and ten. Here's Fields. That's over the middle and taken in by Fryermuth. And they'll quickly signal for timeout. It's not looking good, but at least they're going to have one final play. Maybe a miracle can get them down to the end zone. going to be incomplete so no help there and we're likely down to a final snap here we go one final play and that's going to be incomplete the defense holds here in the final minute and they're going to get out of here with a victory so it's a win here for the Eagles this was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to...